Well, Dale, looks like the new competitor's lost his license already. Hello, is this thing on? Hello? Thanks for the feedback, Dale. So our youngest competitor's ready for his first real challenge, Dale. Should be interesting, Rick. Interesting. Like grappling with an angry octopus, Dale. Smashing a competitor's car, Dale. Is that against the rules? There aren't any rules, Rick. Reminds me of my first marriage, Dale. <laughs> Plankton's known to be a tough competitor, Dale. Absolutely, Rick. Better keep our eyes on this race. I never get distracted, Dale. Hey, Pebble. He seems to be collecting turbos. Could be tricky. Especially since the great turbo drought of 04, Rick. Those were the days. <laughs> Gary, eh? Things are really heating up now, Dale. That's why I'm wearing my fireproof underpants, Rick. See? I really didn't need to see that. Starfish Man, can our caped hero save the day? How can Starfish Man hope to defeat his evil schemes? Why am I asking so many questions? Meanwhile, Starfish Man has arrived at the dreaded Patrick's ultra-secret lair. What does the arch-villain have in store for our intrepid hero? As dreaded Patrick decorated his lair with purple or few stripes, the plot thickens. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a quiet town famed for its fine eateries, its calm atmosphere, and for that, um, thing on the left there. I don't know what that is. Uh, let us ignore it, huh? Many industries are found in Bikini Bottom, including the jellyfish milking factory, the cross station annoying facility, and anchovies are us corporate headquarters. Bikini Bottom has a long, proud, and noble history of sporting events at its stadium. Well, except for that incident with the rabid shrimp. Let's not talk about that, huh? Bikini Bottom has many sites of historical importance. There's that place with the, uh, thing, and there's, uh, that other thing, and... Oh, who am I kidding? Nothing ever happens in Bikini Bottom. Hey, I can see my mare from here. Hello, my mare. The anatomy of a worm contains several distinct chambers, including the digestive tube, the pharynx, and those wiggly little bits on the end there. It's a little-known fact that bullworms play host to a variety of species, including crustaceans, small fish, and slimy things that go, Eek! 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 The interior chambers of a bullworm are highly sensitive and are easily upset by parasites and spicy food. They quite like toast, though. Can Patrick defend the space station from a destructive hail of asteroids? Did you know that Latin for starfish is Asteroidia? Could this be an amazing coincidence? It's Patrick, head to head, versus the crabby, patchy UFO! Hold on to your quantum destabilizers, folks! My quantum destabilizer destabilized once. Well, actually, it just went. Plankton's perilous patty precipitated rampage rages right through the key bottom. Stay tuned for more awesome alliteration antics. Look it up, kids. Precipitated rampage rages right through Bikini Bottom. Stay tuned for more awesome alliteration antics. Look it up, kids. Giant Plankton's rampage of patty-related destruction seems completely unstoppable. How can our heroes possibly escape? SpongeBob dives into the Bikini Bottom sewers. Will he escape Plankton? And what is that smell? The pressure mounting to stratospheric levels, SpongeBob concocts a cunning plan. He'll lead the rampaging plankton away from Bikini Bottom, and in doing so, save the innocent people from a fate worse than... Plankton.
The plankton situation is escalating enormously, and our heroes are forced to change their plan. They head into a construction yard to face giant plankton and the sheer unimaginable horror of the extended coffee break. Just maybe, Spongebob can lead the beast out of the city. Will he be able to escape the rampaging plankton? Probably not. It didn't work last time. Plankton continues his chase through the streets of Bikini Bottom. Will our heroes manage to escape, and will the chase ever end? I hope not. I get paid by the word, you know. This is it. Finally, it's SpongeBob versus Plankton in a pitched battle here in Bikini Bottom. Will our heroes bring Plankton crashing to the ground, or will they just annoy him a bit? It's going to be the second one, isn't it?